Welcome back, everybody, to Urban Decay Podcast. This is episode 12. Good That's job. Right, right? Better, better, I didn't even better have to than say the anything. <laughs> I liked it. Better than the huge. John's um, slowly training us so he doesn't have to say anything else. <laughs> yeah. Soon we'll be playing his character for him. That's right. Soon he'll just be the... Guess what, one. people? You can email us at... I'm not saying it. Urban what? Decay <laughs> Podcast at... at uh, uh, Hotmail. Hotmail.com. Yeah! Com. Woo! No, just uh, just everybody uh, everybody just listen to Ryan's voice it's for like, a second. Good for Ryan. Can we just say hey, Ryan, why don't you tell us our Twitter account? <laughs> this is Ryan. It might sound like some other sexy man, but it's Ryan today. <laughs> Read this in your Twitter voice. Mm-mm. I mean, which one? Our email or our Twitter? This, this is his Twitter voice? This is the Twitter voice. Our Twitter. You can find us on Twitter at Urban Decay RPG. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh so Can hot. the name of this podcast be Ryan in quotes? <laughs> like, like, Ryan. like it's Ryan, <laughs> yeah, it's but it's not really Ryan. It's sexy Ryan. Yeah, it, <laughs> Ryan. That's what it's called. Sure, it's sexy Ryan. <laughs> sexy Ryan. Hey, that's the so that's the Everyone title of every episode. Ryan. That's <laughs> true. That's the title of your life. My apologies to everyone um, that has to listen to this. No, I think that it's a good. I think, I think people need addition. to understand how sexy you really are. Uh, I mean, you are the uh, face. Oh, I am the face of the group, especially you with do the have the highest What's your physical beauty again? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Ten. <laughs> nice. Mine's twelve. Mine's eight. So you're more handsome than me. Why well, did you make your physical beauty anyway? <laughs> yeah, why didn't you switch your Here's MA and your PV? Yeah, right? If I had known that at the time, how important MA was, <laughs> I would have done that. We had no idea but what we were getting ourselves Actually, into. and this brings up a good point to all the listeners out there. <laughs> we're we're going to probably do some restructuring of some skills in the future just to... Uh, because this whole time has been like kind of like a trial introductory run of this game and also like a learning period for us. So, um, yeah. I just, just want to temper that, that statement by saying that's not to say that the things that you're doing now aren't impactful right. or Correct. significant for the development of your characters. So, and we talked about this in, didn't we talk about this in like episode zero? Uh, I, think I think we, we mentioned a little bit in episode zero, yeah. We're essentially like yeah. pre OCC. Like the, yeah, the pre OCC era. The, Planning Books is really great at giving you more information than you need. And one of the things that they've done is uh, they've devised, uh, within the Dead Rain game system, a lot of different explanations for why the zombie outbreak occurs, different rules for um, types of zombies, and they've even, in one of the supplementary books, there's even like a little blurb that I've, we found sort of after we started this uh, podcast as th- that talks about dealing with the timeline of the zombie apocalypse. They don't really give you like really direct rules for playing through the apocalypse itself. The the system sort of drops you in the middle of it, like six months or eight months after the the zombie outbreak really occurs. But because we're playing through uh, this sort of self generated scenario that's that's dropped our players right in the middle of the zombie outbreak, then uh, we decided that it was sort of necessary to the game. To not just give them uh, occupational character class right out the gate, or or that is an additional character class, because everyone that's a survivor already is a, has like a survivor OCC that has skills associated with whatever their employment, whatever their occupation. The occupation. Thank you. <laughs> well, I just said that word. I can think of it. Was before the outbreak. So they have these. They have a certain set of skills now, but uh, as things progress, their set of skills is going to be it's going to change and be different. They're going to accumulate new skills, accumulate new abilities. And, um, at some point there's going to be like a shift in what their characters can do. And I, I haven't really found a a really good way to like create a gradient where it's like, you know, maybe that's what I should do. I don't know. But like, we're like, you're sort of developing, you're now 25%. you're You're like a level one quarter, uh, OCC, whatever this is, the Hound Master or Drone Master or whatever the you know, Zombie Prophet, Zombie Zombie Prophet, Zombie you know? Master, and Ravager. then like Scrounger. after a certain amount of experience, no, because part of the reason that I find it difficult to do that is that right now the way that the experience tables run in Palladium, and I'll wrap this up so we can actually play. Is that like is that like within within a day or two you can have you can get so much experience, but even if you guys leveled up in like three times in a week uh, in the first week of the outbreak timeline wise it doesn't necessarily make sense that all of a sudden you know first aid or all of a sudden yeah. you know do you know what I mean unless you're like spending the evening like researching library books and doing these things mm-hmm. and like 
Mm-hmm. And so to just so, yeah. so basically to accommodate the fact that right now we've been playing like hour by hour. I mean, this is episode minute 12. By minute. And we're on day two. So That's we have true. like almost an hour of game time for every hour of real time in the game. Yeah, maybe maybe two. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, so two. the point is, we're we're homebrewing a lot of these rules, and we're homebrewing a lot of like the the scenario development. And so because of that, we're to, in order to accommodate that, we're basically like fudging some of the OCC stuff until a, a later point in the game. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> tangent <laughs> over. Good. I'll shut up for. But me. I liked it. Do we have anything else to cover? You know what game. we have to cover is the fact that we are currently. Where are we currently again? Actually, we are currently FedEx. in FedEx. In FedEx. Yeah. Actually, like, we're pretty good for the night. I think we should stay the night. We're in the depot. We brought home our goods. Chris got oh crazy on us. Yeah. Because you we, didn't bring him got, a whole sandwich. Oh, we barely stood down Chris. That was amazing. Yeah, Chris was about to fire on my face. So I was bringing, cry, uh, for bringing an injured Chris animal face, into the into Well, the and depot. that's where the last episode started. Was, that was when I yeah, straight up lied turned Chris. around and there was an angry dog. That's right. That was, or not angry, but defensive dog. Yeah, and then barking. got attacked by some zombies and then they... Yeah, and we looted the crap out of the stuff quick, put it in the fax truck, drove over to the Walmart, looted Walmart. <laughs> like, a lot of the episode was just looting Walmart and I writing down stuff. stuff. <laughs> yeah, we got some good... I can't do Ryan's voice. I'm trying to copy his voice. Yeah. It's not... Yeah. Anyway, good and then we, and then we drove back Horrible. up to the depot, <laughs> basically. But we didn't unload anything. We left it all in the truck and took out the stuff that we needed because of a, in case of a quick getaway. It's pretty smart. You can go for it. And then... Uh, I um... Yeah, and then we kind of just stopped there, I think. I don't remember what else. We did. We were, um, we you had the standoff with Chris where he uh, yeah. got mad about the dog. <laughs> and I lied and to him about the dog. That was totally cool. Like, no, the dog's cool. And he was like, oh, you know what? The dog is cool. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, get on your way. Go away. That's the nature right. of succeeding checks. Apparently. You know, really. Yeah. Is that he had a little bit of a change of heart. That's right. Yeah. And, I, then, uh, we did and then we kind of just And stopped. then you gave him like four loves of bread. And, <laughs> and that's all we brought back. Three loves of bread. I specifically remember being like, I should grab sandwich stuff. Nah. nah, sleeping bags, <laughs> drones, so <laughs> much yeah, flour. Here, the put some of the hey, let's make flowers sandwiches out of the dog. Whoa, Whoa. Hey, Whoa. Charlie Whoa. heard that. Charlie doesn't speak English. If I, you, Charlie, Charlie, if I had speak my English. voice, I'd make yes. a dog noise. But <laughs> thank you. You probably make a way better, more no. menacing dog noise. <laughs> that that was, I feel menaced. <laughs> yeah, go low. <laughs> there you go. All right. Okay. Are we? Are we gonna? I think tuck in for the night. Okay, it's about it's only about six o'clock at this point. You know, so we don't have to be doing oh, things all day. It's zombies early around. evening. Okay, the we sun's still up. Um, oh, given I, that it's yeah. May, you've got sunlight until like uh, almost nine, ten thirty, really. Yeah, I mean like I mean like we uh, sunlight in the sky until yeah. Early, right? Shane and I went and looked at Charlie mm-hmm. and <laughs> assessed, you know, Charlie. Yeah, wounds assessed Charlie's a wounds. Bit. Yeah. Yeah. What did we find out? Uh, if you remember, Charlie needed some stitches on. Uh, yeah. I do remember. Charlie Good had luck. like a gash in it on his high notches. Yeah, a okay. haunch gash. His or her, we don't know gender. Um, of the dog at the moment, we checked the we checked the dog's gender. I guess you would have known that from we your your gender. medical assessment of the dog. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the dog is a male dog. I mean, he's not um, a vet, but well, I am a trained medical girl. professional. But and it's has less not and has not been neutered. So there's well, perfect. We can make really? more dogs. Oh great! Really? Wait, hold on. Unneutered husky collared. Well, maybe I it was mean, a breeding purebred dog. husky. Yeah, exactly right. It's a purebred. How do you know? How do we know? I'm just saying, like, in the event that it were purebred. That's probably money still in our have most of his genitals. Maybe attached. I'll be breeding him. Which is how I with, like to with a with a condom <laughs> when I can. Okay, but real talk. Yeah, I don't. Okay, okay, about the about breeding that. of the dog. Let me hear this. Uh, Shame. We're are still we over sh- by the truck. Yeah, we are. We are by we the truck. We only have one. Just to be clear. Are we? Are we? Um, <laughs> well, we it's easy to breed. Very sexual beings. <laughs> are we sure about this dog? Kind of like I, I mean, I I do see your point. You know what I mean? It could be useful potentially. Ryan made a good point. It might be good for Evie, but like, yeah, really, like. We we have a dog that is injured, that is that much more noise, that much more stomach that we need to fill. It's Are true. we sure about this dog? Um, to be honest, I'm slightly worried about some of the points of that. Yes, um, I do see a huge potential in having a tr- well trained canine companion. Okay, but is this a well trained canine companion? Like, I don't know. We have we got to get it up to health and, and do a couple things with it and see if it's willing to be like if it's not willing to be trained or if it's uncooperative in any way yeah we can let it go but i think that if it can it will be a huge asset to us look at how look at how it uh it was like giving me a run for my money yeah right? that, that's not one of the issues held me down um, yeah um if we if it becomes loyal to us and and can 
operate, you know, and become an asset to the team, then I think that we keep it. If not, then yeah, we can always we can always try and uh, you know send it on its way. But but I think for now it's uh, yeah, I think it's great. It's great for morale for sure as well for Evie and and everybody. I think it's great having a dog around. But yeah, all right, I'll fix so, your dog. I'll fix your dog for Evie. Yeah. Okay, do it for Evie, and maybe for everyone else. Maybe. <laughs> I will. So dramatic. I want to. <laughs> have I fixed it? I need to fix the dog still. Yes, and I don't mean neutering it. I mean like. <laughs> so I was like, wow. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> that's, 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 you don't have that level of that's training. What, You're are you get getting, a I'm a trained medical penalty. professional. <laughs> He's a trained medical professional. He said you sixty-four do not times have lessons, animal so. husbandry or uh, veterinary. Skills. He's gonna have to do that same fifteen that John did earlier. That's, that's right. right. Yeah. I was a 14, didn't even need the 15. That's right, it was. Yeah, so if you're talking about suturing the wound on the Yes, dog, that's what yes. I'm talking about. Yes, you are talking about that. Okay, did we yeah. pick any of those up at that? We did. We did. So we had, oh, in fact, we had some done sutures. That. Also, uh, good old Ryan could use some stitches. Um, yeah. If you remember from... Yes. That's right. I'm just mentioning it because this is stuff that you guys knew. From last from, episode. From, yeah, right, indeed. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, we Did we get any... So why don't we go through what we picked up we, from we the We got a lot of stuff. Because we quickly took it, and then we didn't ever go through it to see what we found. So, so we got a bunch of intravenous antibiotic syringes, which we've used one of. We have. That's right. We got it. some EpiPens. Um, we got some nitro gloves, which are like those They're medical like the non -latex. gloves, but not latex. Latex huh. gloves. Good. Like uh, we got some oral antibiotics. We got gauze. Good. Uh, we do we do have some ones? some needles and threads suture needles oh, and threads unlike right. the ones you used on me at the house. Yeah. Uh, we Don't got some codeine, some Ritalin, some iodine, uh, scapples. Scapples uh, or scapples? I don't actually know how scapples. you pronounce this. <laughs> And they're like apples. Uh, but I wrote trigonometry kit. I don't think that's what Tricky on it. There you Tricky go. <laughs> Tricky on it. We got a trigonometry kit from the from doctor's a, office. From a, from a pharmacy. Guys, I'm a trained medical professional. It's got like so, a compass. Uh, you got to like trust a, me on this one. A, a, a slide rule. It's like one of those really crappy compasses where you can't quite hold the pencil in very firmly. <laughs> Also, um, as I look through the bag, a protractor, that's the word I was thinking of. As I look through the bag, I find some uh, some feminine care products and feminine hygiene products that... Uh, that uh, like uh, lipstick? <laughs> I don't get it. No, like, I'm talking about <laughs> tampons. I'm like just that. kidding. I, know. I assume that uh, Evie threw those in. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, all right. So uh, maybe Evie grabbed them. Yeah, maybe she needs them. I mean, she probably needs them. She's, I mean, more more than us for she's sure. <laughs> I don't know. I get nosebleeds sometimes. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, I mean, all right. Joke. That's a weird <laughs> thought. But Go anyway, weird. Weird. that's fine. Everything's fine. Is that it? So that's it. That's what we got. Okay, that's quite the. Uh, last that is, the it's a lot, and I'm not gonna, you know, carry it. It's all a full backpack. backpack for sure. Definitely. Well, can I try and uh, can like I try armfuls. and sew up Charlie? All right. Yeah. Let's do definitely. this. Definitely. I want to um, hold him down. I'll like be there with him, pat him, keep him calm. Is do we don't have any like? Okay, so this is basically a lot of the things. Uh, I hate to like echo what happened last game, especially because your MA sucks so hard, but um, hey, my MA was as it turns out, like, f for a lot of the things that you're doing with the dog at this stage, you a lot of them require two checks. Oh, man. And so, and there, it's the same ones every time. It's physical. like the physical and MA. So you're trying to hold down this dog, but you also want him to be pretty convinced that you're trying okay. to help him not hurt Okay, I'm going to go and Do get you see what I'm some saying? help for that as well. So, you might, yeah. <laughs> Wait, you don't trust your MA score of three, John? What no, no, that about? Look, the John in the game doesn't know anything about scores. That's, he just knows true. that Ryan is really good. Yeah, he just knows Ryan's being personal like, with passive, talking, every talkable. living thing. Here's yeah. the funny thing is, in real life, zero skill with dogs. <laughs> <laughs> dogs love me and jump all over me, but zero That's skill with dogs. That's all we need. Maybe it's point. because they're afraid of your voice. It's probably that. <laughs> His other voice or this voice? Because generally he doesn't maybe have both. This. Maybe both. This, this is, is always yeah. my voice. This okay, so I'm gonna Ryan. call Ryan over and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and hold him down and then Ryan's gonna help to just like. And to be clear, hey Charlie. we had agreed with Chris. Well, when I say we, I really mean you. Hmm. That the dog would be kept in the van. Are you in we are, the van? We are in the van. Yeah, we're the in the van. Okay. Yeah, at the other I just side. wanted to make sure I knew. To be I'm, honest, you know, I think we Chris's should keep bedroom. him in there for a while. His <laughs> bedroom, <laughs> where we find where he's sleeping, and we put the dog on his chest in his sleeping bag. It's no, just night terrors. We're just, it's night terrors. Yeah, don't stress. We're just sewing them up. We sew the dog up on Chris's chest. <laughs> okay, we so sew it together. So you're in the van. <laughs> oh my yeah, so, okay, so, Ryan, That's you've so come good. to help. Yeah, I guess. Okay. I've, I've like, enforced you. Well, let's maybe <laughs> like have that conversation. Nerd. Yeah, yeah, Ryan, do you want to help? We're going to be uh, doing some work on Charlie. Yeah, sure. We'll upgrade his shocks. We're gonna... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> his suspension is weak. 
So uh, if you don't mind, that would be a super huge help. I, you know what? I got to go over there anyways. So I got to get myself sewn up. So uh, yeah, it's probably a good idea. Well, that's cool. Yeah, because we'll use all the, the needles <laughs> the and needle. stuff on on the dog, and then we'll use them right on you. Oh, we do. Me first? <laughs> well, let, let's fix know. Ryan. What do you think? You want to fix Ryan first? I don't know. Okay, I'll hold Ryan down. Yeah. I mean, I mean, fix. Who's him. gonna calm me down though? Okay, well, Charlie, Charlie has Charlie an will. IMA, so I'm gonna fine. cry like a little baby. <laughs> Okay, am I fixing Ryan first? You it's tell me what you, you want to do. I will fix Ryan first. I'll prioritize the human That's being good... <laughs> over this dog that I'm not even really sold on. Hey, hey, hey. The Hippocratic Oath. Uh, right are these new dice too? Yeah, those, those are, those are, those are Jackie's dice. dice. They're sick. Dang. So shout dope. out to Jackie's sick dice. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Jackie. Shout out. Shout out for the She's day. the best. She is Jackie the best. is the best. She's I mean, great. other than we Paul also Chen. gave her a shout out. Like, the yeah, two, no, though. I mean, nobody's better than Paul Chen, and he's trying to. Like, Paul Chen, please. Saying, but, I kind of like Jacqueline a little bit. No, no. Nope. Okay, I, roll them dice. Y'all. All right, this is for Ryan's wound. Okay, check it out. 80, 89. That's How about so that? Much. That's that's real high. That's okay, way higher so than I in attempting to uh, suture failed. the wound close, you uh, you slip and like sort of uh, oh, no. you cause it to start bleeding again. It's oh, not like reopened. It's fine. It's just like oh, sorry, Shane. I mean, sorry, Ryan. Uh, I see. Sorry. So, sorry, Shane. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> yeah, could you stop bleeding on me, man? Yeah, my bad. <laughs> Effing Ryan. Don't worry, I only He's always AIDS. bleeding. <laughs> Maybe he pulled away. Charlie probably barked. Yeah. But, uh, yes. Can I fix it again? Yep. You, can oh, make it you know, because I'm so good at this, and I succeed very often. <laughs> I'm you did. Die. Last couple of episodes would be great. Oh. 65, 65. I failed again. Okay. There this we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're on that whole quest to save Ryan. So, I am. I knew thought blood so you're poisoning working was dangerous. with unfamiliar tools. This Shame is nobody's fault. It's true. This is new. But I am. Can. I'm Wait, not I'm roll a d4. Oh, oh god! Oh, you're taking damage now. Just roll it. Three. Good. So take three damage. Oh Ryan. gosh. Damage or SDC. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Not to hit points. Okay. Just SDC. And actually, three seems high. But I mean, that's what that's you fine. Rolled, I'm down so. to eleven. Whoa. That's fine. I feel more terrified than anything ever. So insane. So I mean, just you a little bit are making things worse. But you know, why don't you just leave it open? Probably. You know what? How about you just sew it shut? I'm trying. Can I help? Can I assist in any ways? I can't remember if that was a thing. Uh, yes. Use your MA to calm Ryan. Please. Oh gosh. Watch this. I'm kidding. You guys are useless. You know, so come on. Watch this. You make the attempt. Yeah. To calm Ryan. Oh, that was kidding. I should have rolled my low. So stressed. All right. So we're trying again. Here we go. 90. Oh, okay, so... How uh, are these odds? I don't understand. Well, the, so a suture... So like, have you seen a suture up. needle? They're like, they're like this. The curve, they're like yeah. U-shaped. Yes. And uh, I've never... I've only one time tried to sew anything with a suture needle, and it was because I was like, oh, I wonder what this is like. Because I... There's a whole story behind <laughs> You're an it. interesting... My mom thing. gave yeah, me a set of different time, and then types tried of to needles sew one time. Back up. So anyways... Just kidding, that wasn't really... So I, like, I, I was like, oh, cool. But like, it's awkward and weird. So, given that, like, your first aid training really didn't... That's what they say about me, too. It wasn't, like, Awkward you can get the Heimlich there. maneuver, you know, you know parts mm-hmm. of the body. It's true. This isn't something you've ever had to actually do before. I don't know, so it's not your fault that you're I mean, does Ryan take more damage from that? Yep. Uh, no, like, the three, I think, covered it from before, but... Okay. But n- now goodness. we know that it's taking you, like, like a half an hour to do again? a simple wound. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, I mean, no. if you want to... Ryan, do you want to just leave it open? Seriously. <laughs> not a good idea. No, I'll give you one idea. more chance. Watch this, I'm gonna do it. Two! Whoa! I got it. I did it. Yeah. Almost the lowest. <laughs> and roll. on the fourth try, um, after what seemed like an eternity of him stabbing oh, crap into your arm, my arm man, hurts. Then uh, so the, uh, he, he literally did damage he, to you. <laughs> yeah, he, but I fixed it. But at the end of it all, it looks really good. Like, Swollen it looks and good. Like no, like he rolled. Yeah. So he rolled it too. This yeah, is like true. doctor quality good almost. Yeah. Like that's I, really. Well, well, I mean, we all know that I am a trained medical I'm professional. I'm gonna punch you <laughs> so hard. We've got we've got Shane convinced he's a doctor. The problem, the question is how trained, you know, uh, trained enough to get a two apparently. So, well, that's all right, I'm moving on tries. to the dog with my new suture needle because you know, <laughs> getting pretty good with these. So I don't think Charlie would mind. Probably a little bit of Ryan's poison blood at this in him. point. It's probably a good time to reorient the situation where you are and what you're doing. Right. So, what do you mean? Well, now, shit, now, now Ryan's not being operated on. Now you're operating on. Yeah. The so, so oh yeah. So Ryan will move positions. over a bit. Yeah. I'll I'll, I'll tell Ooh. Charlie to hop up in the truck. <laughs> Put him up on the up on the bench, like a fold out thing. I'll put my like kind of hand on him, and I'll just pet him. Yeah, I'll put both hands on him. That's that sounds like <laughs> weird. Yeah. But I'm holding him down physically. So I, I you need you want me to roll for physical holding? Yeah. Or is that S- yeah? Okay. So you're the you're the physical yeah. role. So you and do the physical you, role. So am I trying the... to beat my physical so beauty my, roll? N- okay. So right now, what you're trying to do <laughs> is you're trying to roll higher than. Uh, 
than Charlie's strength. Oh, gotcha. Okay, that's what you're trying so to it's do. A, it's like so a, you're trying to roll high, and I'm trying whereas to roll low. Uh, yeah, whereas Ryan is trying to make it. He's making an MA check, and he's he did trying it. to roll up. I'm so good at this game. And John okay, fails. So I rolled really low, <coughs> so but I wasn't low, supposed to roll low. Um, <laughs> if that had been an MA check, you would have succeeded. <laughs> Oh what? <laughs> so annoying. Oh my gosh. It's great. So, <laughs> so John, you're trying to hold on to him. Ryan, when you try to suture... This Ryan. Is Ryan. Ryan. Oh, damn it. Man. What, what's going on Can everyone just wear name tags? forehead name yeah. plates with like LED lights? Well, this is like new. This is never I know, no, I do it every I know, episode. Oh, I, know, I don't know why. And that one over there is Ryan. Ryan, say hi. Do you hi. switch seats Hello. or anything? Like, why is my brain... <laughs> well, wait, Ryan looks sure different this right? episode because it's a different man. Make your first aid roll. Okay, he's gonna bite my hand off, and it's a sixty-six. I okay. failed. So you failed. You you put the dog into some discomfort, and because uh, John doesn't have a very good hold of him, he sort of jumps up, and there's some commotion in, in no, the, Charlie, in the van. Oh boy! Uh, he yelps. He doesn't bark, but he yelps. And um, but then uh, Ryan's Ryan. able to calm him down, and get <laughs> things situated without it getting like out of control. So he's back on the thing. Okay. You can see his breathing is a lot sharper at this point, and he, like you can tell that he's like nervous. Mm-hmm. Um, but he seems to trust Ryan. Um, uh, it's not that he's wary of John; it's just that you know. I just didn't hold him. Can right. I? Can I roll again to hold him? This um, time? Before I yes. try to sew him up, can I just kind of check out his wound and see if there's any sort of infection or anything like that? And I think we did that last. We did last time. Yeah, yeah, you did. We found out that it was. It. it was like it a was, little mild. It was like inflamed, but it, it didn't look like it was it's not zombie. There was no. We specifically said there wasn't any sign of damage. Like, Blood poisoning or anything like that, like what happened with Ryan last episode. Great. Can we yeah. put? Should we put it? Polysporin. As a trained medical sure. professional, as a trained that's... medical professional, I think that's a good idea. Okay, a little polysporin, uh, a little uh, alcohol. Maybe you know, I'm gonna put not... some of these next. Oh, oh so to be oh, we have to clear, shave the area. The, uh, so like that whole process is uh, encompassed by the. Yeah, role. I would assume so. Right. So like it's we talk about each role being like a five to ten minute ordeal. Yeah. Right. Depending on the the size of the thing that you're trying to do, right. So suturing a wound would include sterilizing it, okay. uh, like for oh, okay. a dog it would include cool. uh, you know probably you like shave the shaving area. around the area or yeah. cutting the hair away so okay. that you can get to the wound properly. Yeah, come like, on, that's man. all part of it. Give me some credit. So, I'm same with me in my Because if it was just yeah. like if it was just like I sat we sat down grabbed the dog and, and Shane stabbed Stubbing. him with a needle that's not a five minute thing. Of course, right? That's so right. that's yeah. Okay, cool. That's just so yeah. people are listening. So are we doing it again? So we go again. Everybody again. Everybody roll. Don't you roll last, Shane? Right now. I did so well. Okay. Wow. I didn't. Okay. Right? Oh, I have to be. So, so this be, is high yeah. enough. <coughs> oh, you've cool. rolled high enough. He's not very strong. So oh, good. what this means now is that um, you have a plus ten percent bonus oh. to the thing. So yeah, because even if he, even if you miss, sort of, still just then he's not going to yeah. hop up and leave because John's got a hold of him. Uh, Ryan's there to calm him down. It. Did it. Oh, I did it. Thirty-three. Oh, nailed it. Woo! I nailed it. Didn't even need that. Okay, so the first couple of sutures go pretty oh, yeah. easily, Charlie. and then the dog sort of realizes what's happening to some degree, and it calms down for the rest of it. And before long, you've got um, all eight stitches in. I'm not gonna lie, to you. Oh, this stresses awesome. me out more than killing people. Yeah, that's. I know. He trying to heal people is way scarier. Yeah. I mean, um, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Charlie a little treat, like a little piece of bread or something, whatever I have on me. That's exactly all you have. That's yeah. it. That's it's good. good. Okay. Okay. Charlie <laughs> gets up and he immediately goes to lick the sutures. Hey, no, none of that junk. Actually, yeah. I don't true. think you that's technically cool. Technically, shouldn't. I think it's more for affection, but I mean, you also don't want him do? to be ripping them out. So this yeah. is why uh, when too. dogs and cats get uh, any get kind cone. of thing, they get the cone. Cone of shame. The cone of shame. Yeah. Well, we don't have. Can we so gauze it a little bit? Like, with yeah, we're trying to yeah. gauze that. Yeah, that might work. Sure. Okay. Yeah. yeah let's do that. So wrap them up. You don't have to make a roll for God, that. And I want to. <laughs> so subtract yeah. a gauze from your inventory. Okay, my gauzy gauze. Roll, gauzy. roll o gauze. We actually just have a roll o gauze. You have a single roll o gauze. Oh, I don't know. You didn't give me a number. How? how big oh, are from these like things? the most recent. Um, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought I did. Uh, it was. I think it was six. Six gauze. Okay. Six rolls of gauze. Five, five rolls of gauze okay. remain. And then, Excellent. Did all the other medical supplies that you guys had? We still have them. You still have them, but they're not yeah. in the house, right? They're they're with you. Uh, some of them, I believe. Some of them, we, I think okay. we left, and some he put on his in his backpack. I can't. Remember. Okay. Yeah, the really things I have in my backpack we have, okay. cool. including Nyquil. Including <laughs> just in case. Let's pop like eighty of those to Chris. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you would have gotten like a plus twenty percent if you had just passed the dog out with Nyquil. Uh, just and we, yeah, we have three gauze in the backpack. Kidding. And Ryan as well. Oh, good. Okay. And Ryan. So we have a and Shane. Eight, eight, eight gauze total. This is how you win the game. So that's handy. <laughs> yep. Nyquil. Okay, well, let's... Um, okay, so yeah, so we still have a couple hours to kill. Yeah, Before it's like before sleepy it's time. Like nighttime, yeah. I'm going to take some time to try and find out where the security cameras are. In the building? Yeah. 
Okay, cool. Because I actually don't know. Because <laughs> you actually don't know in real life. So, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, um... This is the sort of thing that would take like some time. Okay. Are you recruiting anyone else to help you? If you guys want, I don't know what you guys are doing, but well, say no. say things. Yeah. Um, okay. Hey guys, I'm just gonna go take a quick <coughs> perimeter check on the uh, to perimeter. try and find where the yeah, just go around. Not I'm not going to the outside of the building. I'm going to the inside, yeah, of, the inside of the building and just walking around. I'll take Charlie with me, give him a little walk. Yeah, walk around. And then just like all the, around the whole inside of the building walls. Just gonna make sure everything's okay, make sure the doors are all down, like sealed up and closed, and also being on the lookout for the security area. I'm assuming there's one, unless, I don't know, maybe they're fed to like another central location somewhere, but sure. I think, I know that there's probably a way to get the footage somehow from, mm -hmm. from this bait, from this place, so. There would have to be. Yeah, so that's what I'll be doing for the next little bit, but. Okay. Uh, Ryan, do you wanna go with him? Or if you don't, I will. The road, I think. Yeah, it's just 16th Ave. It's really busy. Oh, are you, you going to go with him? No. If you don't, I will. Uh, no, I'm going to come with? Cool. Okay. 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 So you open up the sliding door of the van, and it, of course, it's, you're inside this huge, giant bay um, warehouse. Um, Evie is leaning up against the van uh, on her cell phone. I don't know if she's chatting or texting or whatever, but she's leaning. You can see the light on her face from the from the cell phone. Hey, wow. hey, kiddo. <laughs> what you doing there? What you, what you got? Oh, hey. Just checking messages. Seen if hmm. anybody just get any? Yeah. No. Oh. She hangs her head down a little bit. Aww. Hey. I mean, it drops, but she doesn't like. Oh. It's not like a Charlie Brown like. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. And the little song plays. <laughs> yeah. No. But no, she's like no. Okay. That's good. Good job for you trying though. I think it's a good thing to keep trying. Are you guys getting reception in here? I have no idea. We check. I check my phone. I check. Yes. We are. Yeah. We are all getting reception in there. We are. Ugh. I hate my network. I've only got like one bar. Ugh. What are you guys doing? <laughs> we were, uh, nerd, we were okay. just helping out. Uh, we're helping out old Charlie here. He had a little a little wound on his on his leg, but we we patched him up nicely, and now we're just gonna do a quick walk around. You want to come with? Or do you want to help me set up some sick drones? Sick drones, All right? <gasps> oh yeah. But he knows what's up. John Shots and I are gonna Ryan. have so much fun with this. Do okay, you can go with Jim Ryan. Sorry, guys. Ryan had me at sick drones. <laughs> yeah, ah. six the keyword. Yeah. Oh yeah, you gotta open them all up. I, we we, I'm have, jealous. we have a Sorry. sick dog. Like it might actually. He's not sick. Up, I don't know. He's not sick. He's not exactly. sick. He's like ill, like rad. <laughs> no, he's none of those things. He's perfectly healthy. He's not rad. He's rad. He's rad. Yeah. He's, he's, only, he's only rad. He's surfer sick. And surfer <laughs> ill. Mm, mm. No. Okay. I want to avoid those words. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. He's sick and fifty. Okay, you guys have fun. We'll come meet up with you. Where are you guys going to be at? Dying. Ryan uh, and um, Evie. Evie looks question. at Ryan. Shrugs her shoulders. I don't know yet. We're going to find a good workshop. You want to take another van? Nah. <laughs> Set up shop in there? Wow. Be cool. um, you can also just take any of the office areas or cubicles or whatever. Evie, what do you think? What there's, do you want to do? So here's the thing with the... I don't think there's any like... There's a few offices, but only like eight. I guess that's plenty. Never mind. A van will be fine. Okay. Yeah. Man? Right. Yeah. Sure. Evie just, Evie just shrugs. Whatever. It's up to you. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Well, I just want to... Okay, that's fine. We'll I'll find I'll text you. you. It's cool. It's not that big of a We'll find you. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. And we'll just like... We'll start walking around. Okay. So you guys do your, your walk around. Um, because you're uh, being pretty careful to like check all the nooks and crannies for anything that looks like it might be a mm -hmm. video camera or a motion, uh, motion sensor or anything like that. Yeah. Um, it this is it takes a while. Yeah, it doesn't take forever, but we're talking like probably twenty five minutes to cool. like do like the whole. I mean, you're doing the warehouse, you're doing the offices, you're doing the upstairs little mm -hmm. place. So um, you do the check, and you find that um, there's not a ton of security cameras. There's definitely some. There's only two in the whole uh, giant bay that you guys uh, have the van parked in. Um, so there's one at each end. And it more or less covers, I mean, you, if you had access to both of those cameras, mm -hmm. you know you could see, like, pretty well the whole um, bay. Um, and then in the offices, again, same thing. There's two. So uh, there are shots, like, within some of the cubicles that you wouldn't have access to if you were watching just from, like, a security uh, room with all right. the monitors. Um, there's none in bathrooms or anything like that. Um, there's one in, like, the hallway. And then there's one uh, in the break room. Hmm. So uh, when you go up the stairs to the... What about like the outside? Oh, I guess we didn't go outside. You didn't go outside. No. Yeah. That's so when you go upstairs to that little room with the window, mm -hmm. that like over the <coughs> end of the day, um, there's an off... 
like a, an adjacent room. Like that section is cut into two pieces. They're not big rooms, but one of them is sort of just like an administrative office, and then the other one is the security room. With oh. um, it only has six monitors, so you um, in order to get like you can't look at all you look through all the cameras at once. You have to like flip through. Open. Yeah. Or sorry, not sorry. Four four monitors. I don't know why okay. I said six. There's only like seven cameras. So. Yeah. But yeah, so there's four monitors, and um, yeah, you can flip well, between. Seven cameras on the inside. Yeah. All right. Do we want to check outside for you know? Um. Okay. Yeah, we could do a quick check um, of the outside too. I mean, we, we could test well. the drones. I'm just trying to do that to do a quick look around. I don't know your call. Although, okay, so I found the room with the cameras. Okay. So yeah. I want to try and get into that. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's not locked. Oh, actually. Sweet. Okay. Whoever left left okay. in a hurry. Awesome. Um, the equipment's still on. Um, from what you can tell, it looks pretty easy to operate, especially given that you have like, you know experience with more advanced electronics i mean because you have like the radio training and stuff like that yeah okay. this isn't that but it is surveillance equipment and so it's stuff that you're like medium familiar with yeah. at least the well, like the the setup of of things right okay mm -hmm. yeah. all, I, all i want to learn is how to switch between the cameras yeah easy peasy okay can i switch can i find them outside uh-huh yeah okay. so there's Excellent. um there's like eight outside so there's beautiful um on the east and west side of the building which are the two long sides yeah well, i guess it's sort of like northeast and southwest but because it's kind of an angle yeah, to the compass. Okay. But uh, um, the two long sides of the building each have two cameras on them, and then on the um, short sides of the building, then there's one and one. So, okay, cool. Yeah. Sweet. Okay. Um, basically, I'll just have I'll just take a quick look at all the ones on the outside and make sure there's no no one around. What do yep. I see out there? Okay, so you don't see a ton of movement or anything like that. Um, you do see, um, like you can see like the airport in the distance. You can see mm -hmm. um, in one of the cameras, you can even see like Deerfoot in the in sort of cool. in the background. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a clear shot or anything like that, but you can like, oh, that's the road. Mm -hmm. um, you see, um, like, hold on, let me pull up the map here. How far is the airport? So it's like, with the, it's like the literally right here. Yeah. So okay, like there's airplanes yeah. right there. There's the airport here, on the on the northeast side, and then like the section of Deerfoot that you'd see mm -hmm. is sort of like through all that mm. junk because cool. you're this is sort of uphill, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty high up actually. And then. Uh, so this is your building, which is nice that it's sort of a bright one on the mm -hmm. yeah, spot. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so looking down the street to the south, um, so, like all those parking lots for all these adjacent offices and buildings down mm -hmm. here. Yeah, this is um, like a UPS store and this is a pure later. So some of these oh, are like um, mm -hmm. civilian vehicles and some of them are like uh, the corporation vehicles. Mm -hmm. So these parking lots have like vehicles in them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, some of them look like they were parked deliberately in spaces. Some of them are just like vehicles, like randomly in the middle of a spot. Yeah. 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 So, given what you've been experiencing so far, it's probably safe to assume that there's um, people in those, whether they're alive or not. Oh. Um, and then you can't really see too much. Li I mean, this is pretty far to be seeing through a little video camera. Of course. Yeah. But w if you look too far to the south, like you can see movement, just oh, like really? little specks of movement. You wouldn't see like. Ooh. It's not like a wave of, you know, yeah, undulating crowd not, or anything like, like that. A just, yeah, no, just like some. There's definitely like some movement okay. in the fields and <laughs> things. Um, the yes. fact that you're by the airport, it, like you are in a pretty isolated neighborhood, because mm -hmm. um, it's. The, I mean, you have residential. I mean, where's the closest the, the residential? Closest residential like is this part up here or over here, yeah, which is there. on the other side of Deerfoot. Both it's of them, right? Really so far, it's like, yeah. and this is all industrial. Like exactly. Industrial so like none of that. So basically, any of the people that are would be in that area are sort of incidental to whoever didn't get out fast enough, whoever decided yeah. to hold up there, um, or or you know like infected people that got off course or gotcha. just sort of like Wanders. that's the direction that they headed, gotcha. right? So okay. good. You, that's that's fair enough. Probably I guess. feel like pretty well set up. In the FedEx building at the moment. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, then I'll just yeah. Okay. Push it down. Flash to Ryan. <coughs> you got some drone boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. whoa. <laughs> that was the part. That's, that's not Ryan. That's sound. Uh, yeah, I'm just that's gonna open so all that up. Also have some GoPros. Yeah, a couple GoPros, couple couple. Uh, what was the other? A laptop. Oh or yeah, like, it was a laptop. It might have been one or two. I don't remember. Yeah, yeah. So took one, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the drones aren't really like some assembly required type drones. Yeah. They, they, so the there's remember you got two. Yeah. So one of them was like, and then then there was like, eh, pretty good. Yeah. So the one, Over. Uh, one laptop. is like like doesn't really require assembly other than like attaching the propellers. Okay. 
it's like and they just like snap on it's like it's simpler Easy. than ikea yeah. right it's just like just just put this here no allen key required it. yeah exactly right <laughs> um the other one is a little bit trickier just because they had taken it apart into more pieces mm-hmm. for tighter packaging so that they okay. could ship more in a shipment essentially yeah. Um, that one takes a more significant amount of time. And then, of course, to, like, attach the GoPros and things. So, to them. I know some drones have cameras on them already. The, the, good, the good one does. Okay. I think we talked so about we that. So, only need one the, GoPro. Uh, yeah. So, you only need, so you've got a backup one yeah. for something else. Or no, if make this one breaks. Or yeah. whatever. Or if you get more drones. Who knows? Right? Yeah. Who doesn't know? So, okay. um, I'm not going to make you roll on whether or not you can uh, attach Assemble. something that's made to attach to something. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, GoPros attached to... Jumps. Jumps. This yeah. is a known fact. There <laughs> will be no roll. Well, um, anyway, I'm breaking. But I between you and EV, like you get things uh, assembled so pretty sorry. quickly. Yeah. And by the time uh, Shane and John are done their little tour of the building, <coughs> then the two of you are like nerding out about your cool new tech. Love it. So yes. you finish up. EV goes for the high five. And uh, a good one. He's, yeah, these are so cool. Can we can we fly them? What yeah. do we do? How do you how do you do it? Yeah, good question. Have you done this before? I've never flown a drone. You, I've never done this before either. My cousin had like one of those little ones he yeah. got for Christmas one time. Yeah. And like we crashed it into the wall that first day and then it didn't it never really recovered after that. But sounds alright. Yeah. Okay. Um great. Yeah, I'm gonna look through the instructions a little bit. I have no idea. Okay, so as it turns out, um especially like the really <laughs> one has like a lot of like self stabilizing yeah. stuff. That makes it's sense. It's not idiot proof, but it, it does a lot. But if like you're if you're not that good with things, it's not just gonna like fly into a wall and crash. Yeah. Does um, it have like a landing button and stuff too? Somewhere? Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. Just like auto land. Yeah. Exactly. So it has like all those features are a part of that one. Um, the Is second it one. App controlled. Um. So yeah. So they. Here's the thing. It's both. Both. Of them. So both of them came with uh like a handheld little like. I mean, it's not a PlayStation controller, but like a controller yeah. that has like little thumbsticks. Um, one for left and right, one for up and down, and yeah. one for, you know what I mean. Um, but uh, additionally, you um, can download an app. They have yeah, each each one has its own app, like whichever uh, company programmed the thing. Yeah. So there's two apps. If you want both, then they, so they run off different apps. You can't run them off the same app. Do they work? Are they Wi-Fi powered? Is that what it is? Um, they're so the good one uh, operates with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. And, okay. um, but they also use like a, like a radio signal essentially. Yeah. That's so, how use which that. is, yeah. So it, it operates pretty similar to, I mean, it's an RC, it's a remote control car, right? Yeah, so, right. but it's look. got wings. It's a remote control flying car. Yeah. It's RCFRC. I have to, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to have to look into it, but oh, I think RCIRC. if yeah. it works the way I think it is, they have their own Wi-Fi. Like, 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 like generate a hotspot. Kind of, yeah. 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 That's like, that's... so the good one does the crappy one does not. Oh, that's good. Yeah, the the crappy one is just it's straight radio, and oh. I mean, and then it has like the app that has like so like the Bluetooth connection. I'm trying to think, because if we could connect them together, then we could run them off like a custom made something. I'll figure something out. Yeah, you probably will. I'll look into it. <laughs> um, At the moment, it would take some wing jangling. Oh, it would take some crazy. Sure. Either way, it's going to take a lot of... Because they're operating with different signals, but like yeah. you can finagle. Okay. Uh, they I mean, they are... Bluetooth is not a huge both, range. R- they're both doing like radio That's control true. signals. Yeah. So like, if you can dial in... Um, the, the user manual for each <coughs> would have the, um, the what the frequency, frequency for each yeah. one is, and then it's a matter of like... I mean, you don't want them operating on the same frequency, because then if you tell one to go forward five feet... They'll both go forward. Then they both <laughs> go forward five yeah. feet, right? So, That's but awesome. uh, yeah. Unless they're really good. Because that would take a lot of skill to yeah. drive two with one control. Yeah, so um, <laughs> totally synchronous. <laughs> I think we'll just mess around with it a little bit. Get um, yeah. I don't know. Make sure we're both oh. familiar with how to work them. I had a quick thought. Yeah. What if we started filling things up with water? That's I was a the same very thing. good idea. Right. Yeah, I had the same thought earlier. Okay. FedEx has these, and I'm talking like rolls of these things of like big bags. Um. I know bags probably aren't the best option. Yeah. But they're super durable and really thick. Okay. And they're like clean. I don't know what else we could use to store water in. I'll that sounds about right. Those. That sounds good. So I'll just start doing that for a while. And just like tap. Like turn on the tap in the kitchen and just start filling a bag of water. If only you had a hose. Oh, yeah. Oh, we wait. We do have a hose. I don't know if it'll fasten on the We have two hoses. Look at us. Yeah, you can wang jangle it with something. Wang jangle. Like, yeah, you got some tactical black duct tape. <laughs> okay. 
Sweet. Okay, so I'll, I'll. Oh yeah, we have two hoses. Okay, I'm gonna. Do. I'm gonna ring. I think my, one hose might fit, because um, in the in the break room there's another door to get into the bay, mm-hmm. from the other way. Like if you go into the, and then you turn right. Anyway, out there. So I'm gonna just run it out that way and then have. Um, Wait, why do we need water? We have all this apple juice. You're so right. That those three boxes. Four. Oh, four <laughs> boxes should last us at least a couple hours. Yeah. So I'm just gonna be like, yeah, hosing. All night. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah. go look for Chris. Okay, so you find Chris. He's in the break room. He's chilling in front of the TV, probably just for lack of a better thing to do. You guys are definitely a lot more organized than he is. It seems likely to assume that he probably hasn't encountered as much of the uh, mm-hmm. like combative uh, type situations as you guys have. So definitely, I think you're in a different psychological mode than he is, where he's sort of figures like, you know, hole up for a couple of days, wait for things to blow over, go home and and get back to real life. Mm. Yeah. So I think the, like the full weight of the extent to which this outbreak has destroyed lives and changed everything forever really hasn't sunk in properly. And mm. it's, I mean, it's unclear to you whether that would be, you know, his own sort of uh, resistance to reality or if he just, you know, isn't aware of certain things. But, uh, I mean, he's been sitting there watching the news on and off and like flipping between sitcoms and that, right? So... You have to, I mean, it seems like he's getting some information, right? Um, so yeah, he's just chilling there watching TV. Hey, Chris, um, what do you what do you see on there? What have you found? Uh, oh, you know, nothing. Just kind of hanging out, really. It's, I don't know. It's a whole day of watching TV. It's been a long, boring day. Like, why is nothing good ever on? I don't know. You know? Yeah, I, that's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Um, also, I hate to be critical, but you guys really boned it on the food thing. He he throws down the the pack of nachos that he just polished polished off and like drops the garbage on the table. <laughs> Chris, I hate him. Listen, um, <laughs> I just something I wanted to explain this. It's, I really need to explain this to you, okay? Yeah, yeah. What? And I don't, I don't like don't take this in a weird way. All right? I'm just, I just we've been outside a lot, and we. Uh, I think you really need to understand the gravity of what's going on out there. <laughs> like, what do you mean? There's some. There's some there's some serious crap going on. <laughs> there's uh, people that aren't acting like people, and they're attacking people kind of mindlessly and without regard for their own safety. And there's some like there's some serious societal breakdown going on. I, and uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't I don't really know how to explain this to you. I feel like it's something you kind of need to see more than anything else. But uh, I mean. I hate to be critical, man, but you sound like a little bit of one of those apocalypse nuts. I mean, I get it. There's a bunch of sick people. And, like, I understand that it's huge. I mean, we're talking, like, Black Plague levels of infection. But, I mean, like, you know, like, eventually medical science will catch up to the situation and everything's going to be fine. You know, like, it's it's just another terrible thing that happened. Yeah, it's totally. been so long since humanity got hit with a plague that actually... Chris, did anything. Chris, you need yeah. to stop rationalizing it. All right. Uh, have well, you seen? Not. Have you seen on the news that they demolished the hospitals? Yeah, I mean, I saw something about that. I, I remember seeing like a like, there's some kind of clip of like a helicopter flying over while I was flipping through. But yeah, well, I mean, they did that, and there's no hospitals left in the city. Also, I know they haven't shown this on the news, but the military is killing civilians, and they. They came after us. We barely escaped. What are you talking about? Exactly would, what I said. Why would military be killing civilians? I mean... I mean, if you're talking about the riots, there was riots in the South yesterday over, I mean, over, I guess they barricaded some of the roads or whatever, and they weren't letting people leave because it's quarantine in the city, which I think makes sense. If people leave, it's going to spread the infection more, right? So they quarantined the thing. They were, I guess people were rioting, and then they and then like I mean I don't know if they used rubber bullets or what. I'm not talking about. But I didn't riots, see anything man. about military or police shooting people like that. I know I know you didn't, and then they wouldn't have shown that. But we're talking about them going into people's homes and killing them. Yeah, I mean, like I'm not here to call you crazy, <laughs> but it's been a weird couple of days, hasn't it? Like, I mean, I don't. You can see the disbelief in his eyes. Yeah. He's like, he's like, he's looking at you like you're wearing a tinfoil hat, essentially. <laughs> yeah, like you're like you're the conspiracy theorist sort of like weirdo dude. All right, 
you know what, Chris, I really think that next time we go out, and we are going to need to go out again, you should come, because you need to see what's going on out there. Listen, I'm telling you right now, like, I'm staying right here until I can anymore. This is the plan for me. And I think anyone who does anything else is stupid. Go, coming and going and coming and going. I don't think you guys should come and go. The more you leave and come back and leave and come back, the more it's going to draw attention to the fact that there are people here. I Like, it's a bad idea. Why not just, I mean, granted you didn't get very much or very good food, but you got some food. We can, like, hunker down. I mean, we're here for a few weeks. Tops. You know, they send in the National Guard. We all go home. Or wherever home is now. You know what I mean? Like, it's not... This is like... It's not that I don't get that it's bad. I mean, like, I remember when Fort McMurray burnt down, right? But this is like... (laughs) This is that. On a much bigger scale. And eventually, people are going to come. We're going to figure it out. We'll probably get some sweet compensation packages out of all this. And then they'll set us up with new homes and new lives and new houses. And we'll move on down the road. And everything's going to be fine. Like, yeah, probably. And I'm up. looking around. Uh, do I see the gun? <laughs> you do not. Okay. Yeah, it's not like on the table or anything. All right. You probably do a perception check if you want, though. I would like to do a perception check. Oh, that's going to go really well. So we good at this. Watch me. Four. Oh wow! Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you see like a little bit of a bulge, like on the right back side of his, like above his left or his above his right buttock. Can I tell so, if it's a gun? It pr- is it, it seems, is it a can of Pringles? It seems gunular. <laughs> I would say I would, I would say it seems gun-ish. <laughs> gunly. Right. It's not gunly. Pringly. Yeah. Not, it's not so <laughs> I much wouldn't say it's Pringles. particularly Pringly. Not very Pringle-like. Yeah, like it's not, Pringle. it, I wouldn't say it's chip-like in general. So, <clears> yeah. Right. It's, I would say it's safe to assume that's probably the gun. Unless right. he's got something else weird stashed back there. Who knows? Um, I don't know. Hey, we don't know him. Yeah, is yeah. that a banana in your pocket? Um, he's happy to see me. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna say. Yeah, you're probably right, and I'm just gonna leave because this is not a worthwhile conversation. No. Okay. So you leave. You. Uh, Chris does television. You, you come back out in the bay, and you see uh, John rushing around with giant bags and hoses like a madman. He's sopping wet up to his knees. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you look great. His, his, hair is, his hair is all disheveled from like running from sink to sink. Uh, oh my gosh! I have no idea. But, how tie that. but he's moving with determination oh, and order, and that's what's important. You know, More he's yeah, like he's right. like halfway. He's definitely yeah, exactly. a man with a purpose at the moment. Yeah, and it's just how we'll good. get water out of it. That's the hard part. In yeah, the meantime, Ryan and and Evie are over off in one corner of the bay. <laughs> test flying some dronulars, and they're just doing their little drony biz. <laughs> as soon as I feel like I'm like decently comfortable, I'm gonna go right to the research, and I want to find. As out it turns out, that doesn't take very long. I would be surprised if it yeah. did. Yeah, so especially with the nice one, yeah. which man is it nice? Oh, man, it's like nice. the Cadillac of drones. Let's go steal like forty more. Um, that thing <laughs> like basically <laughs> flies itself. I mean, it doesn't, there's no, like, autopilot mode or anything like that, but it basically just takes, it, like, it's, the ca- the camera on it has, like, an auto stabilizer, oh. so, like, the video footage that you're getting through the app is all, like, crisp and, like, smooth. Yeah. Like, you could be shooting a feature film with this bad boy. And the GoPro also uses Wi-Fi, so this is going to be real tricky. It's, it's not that tricky. It's literally made to do what you're trying to do with no, it right now. No, but I mean, right tricky to... Oh, I see what you're to saying. To get more than one at a time, because I have to be like, different yeah. Wi-Fi, open app. trying to operate like 30 different drones <laughs> so, at once. That's so what you need no, is like a some... Matrix-style workbench. No, no, no. <laughs> <But there's, laughs> there are some drones that do like auto-follow you, and there's yep. like a lot of Here's that Here's what I'm thinking, too. is we go to like a Memory Express type thing way in the future, yeah. and get like a... What do you mean, like those... 2044? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So you're going to borrow DeLorean, go way in the During future. Trump's, like, experience. third administration. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we're moving right on. Oh, um, my gosh. <laughs> that's the real dystopia in this. We're not yes. even... We're moving right past zombies. Oh, that's um, We grab a... a that's one of those. They have, like, Wi-Fi networks that are, like, Wi-Fi receivers that'll get, like, a couple Wi-Fi networks and stream them in, I think. All right. Yeah. Sounds like so I'll look at one of those plan. in the future. Cool. I'm going to look into all this and figure it all out. Okay, so you check With all that. With my copious free time. But I want to look at re- uh, in-game right okay. now. In-game, yep. I want to just do research on what's going on, if there's any new developments. Okay, so you're back to your RSS speed? You got it. Okay. So right now it's about, it's getting to be close to like 8 o'clock at night. Yeah. Um, the uh, the RSS speed that's specifically set up like for Calgary and area 
uh, doesn't have a ton of new developments. It's Great. it's a lot of it's gone quiet, though, <laughs> which is a new development in and of itself. Yeah. Right. So, um, whereas yesterday there was like a pretty consistent update um, feed schedule for like the the Reddit thread and mm-hmm. for like a lot of the blogs and things that people were posting, a lot of those things have died down. Some of them haven't been posted on for more than twelve hours. Mm-hmm. So. Mm-hmm. Um, the the Reddit thread is not that it's not that dead, but it's mm-hmm. it's definitely slowed down significantly. Mm-hmm. Um, there was some responses on the um, the post that you guys had made about uh, military shootings in mm-hmm. the areas near the hospital. Um, mostly, those responses were questions, and um, a lot of them were really demanding evidence. <laughs> so can't um, do that. Yeah. Um, but obviously, like people, there were definitely people in in the thread that were taking those warnings seriously, and the, the, you weren't just discounted like, oh, crazies on the internet. Like, no, like people, I think certain people had tuned into the danger of the like situation. Like fifty fifty. And yeah, yeah. So um, that's happening. When as you spread the research terms a little bit further and like step outside like your setup feed, um, you get to more news about the East Coast. Okay. Um, which, if you remember uh, earlier, this I guess it was like this morning, the last time you checked, right? Yeah, Seven I think so. Ago. Yeah, so the last development was that... Um, it was all better. Everything Everything's had, gold. The, the spread of the outbreak had stopped. Um, the um, All of the infected people that were exhibiting um, aggressive symptoms had um, either passed away entirely or... Um, or were being subdued or whatever it was, but the, it was yeah. like not that that element of what was happening had become a non-issue. It's not the threat East. So we're and we're talking specifically about like Detroit and Chicago as being like two of the main yeah. hubs where where that activity was at its peak, right? Um, New York as well. Like I mean, any of those cities on the Eastern Seaboard, but like Chicago and Detroit are the, sort of the two with the most consistent updates. Okay. Um, New York is information has died down. Um, the uh, efforts to rebuild are already underway. Um, awesome. Obviously, it's been a weird couple of days for everybody, mm-hmm. so it's not like you know that's moving very quickly. But the National Guard is present. Um, the, um, there's huge humanitarian efforts from just like civilian organizations, mm-hmm. and um, basically anybody that's left um, is working together to like f- figure out what the heck to do next. Mm-hmm. So cleanup efforts are sort of primary at this point because there's a lot of uh, bodies to dispose of which means that um there's a lot of people like basically everybody's volunteering time and nobody's traveling for this everybody's just sort of lifting where they stand so to, so to speak mm-hmm. um that uh i mean every area is affected and so everyone's just working on what they can where they can so um but the national guard is bringing like these huge army trucks to collect um uh to collect bodies they're trying to do this in an orderly way so that they can account for um like <coughs> victims of an identity of the of yeah. the outbreak right like yeah. this is they're not just disposing of bodies they're these are human beings and they're trying to do it with dignity but also in a way that addresses the fact that if they don't do something within the next like three or four days then they're gonna have a huge rotting mess on their hands and that's not so there's um like photographers and like all there's all this new wealth of evidence about like what's going on and what's happening Mm -hmm. so um and like tons of accessible files um among that group of information uh you find a an article that talks about how um they think they've identified the cause of the outbreak and essentially what, what the, mm. they, I mean, now that they've got bodies to experiment on, they have the um, actual medical researchers doing um, experiments um, to try to, to clue in what the heck is happening with the uh, brain chemistry and mm. things that's like making these aggressive behaviors happen. And they think they've sort of narrowed in on uh, some kind of, it's some kind of uh, compound that they think was being distributed through uh, drug streams. So, uh, we're talking about like cocaine and um, heroin and like hard drugs. So we're not talking about like tobacco and marijuana and alcohol, like the more like socially acceptable, I guess, um, drugs. But like the harder drugs, um, they've been able to establish a firmly a link between a lot of the, z- the patient zeros in each city between uh, drugs and like the outbreak. Okay. Weird. So and what what they figure is happening or happened 
was that essentially it's a, it's a toxin. Um, do you remember like the, the bath salts thing that happened a few years mm-hmm. ago yeah. where like there was, the, there was literally the multiple accounts of like people eating people and like undressing and like running around naked in the streets and like eating other people. Yeah. There's this really weird cannibalistic behavior that was triggered by a compound in the drug that made yeah. them act a certain way. So essentially this compound is related to that compound, whatever okay. it was. Um, but it, it's, it's different in some significant way. Um, one of the things that's significantly different about it is that the human body doesn't have a mechanism to cleanse it out. So once it's in, it stays in in unless you have some kind of like really specific medical medical treatment to get it out. Similar to what you'd find with like heavy metal poisoning. Okay. You get too much lead in your, in your body, your body can't get rid of it and then you just die. Yeah. Um, you can, there are processes that you can go through to eliminate lead from your bloodstream. It's this whole other thing, and it's complicated and expensive, but it exists. Okay. Hmm. So, similarly, um, this, the, the compound exists, and, it, and only, it doesn't need, there doesn't need to be very much of it in a human body for it to have, uh, for that person to exhibit all the symptoms. Okay. So, what happened was, with a lot of these patient zeros, this is what they're theorizing, was that um, the compound was introduced into the drug trade somewhere, either as a cutting agent or um, worst case scenario as some kind of sick experiment Mm -hmm. by somebody Um, uh, or something more malicious than that even, right? But uh, it was introduced into the drug stream somehow and then uh, whoever the patient zeros were in each place essentially would get infected uh, in quotes because technically it's a chemical, not a a biological agent. And... um, in their attacks to other people, if there was any exchange in bodily fluids, like biting, um, then some of that compound would be transferred to a new victim. Um, when it gets far enough, if if the dilution of that compound is too uh, small, and it has to be really small, like we're talking, so like the numbers that they throw out for fentanyl in micrograms is like super small. It's smaller than that, the amount that you would need in your bloodstream. So this is like 100 times more potent than fentanyl, okay. which is already like you can't even see it. It's a speck, right? Uh-huh. Um, but at some point, the dilution is such that it doesn't affect the body. So that's why it stopped. Well, that's why it stopped spreading. They don't know why it stopped. Well, I guess the body's just died. After, after two days of like rapidly uh, aggressive behavior and like running around and attacking other human beings, the, the affected people died. That's it. Weird. So the bodies what? have the bodies have died. That's what they're collecting now. They're still doing more experiments to get to the bottom of, first of all, uh, how the, like where the heck the compound came from, exactly what it is, what some of its other side effects might be. There's mm. still a ton that we don't know. We're talking like the fact that we even know this much on, I mean, day three really of the outbreak yeah. is, that's a ton of information. But that's what this article is talking about. So you found this. This is a whole bunch of new information. It takes a, a while to sort of digest and make through all the article and, and like what it is that they're saying. But that's the information that you came up with. But you said day three. Does that mean day three in? So they're ahead of you, though. Time yeah, wise, they're, right. They're so they're more than. Day. Oh, they're only like a day ahead of us. They're only like a day ahead of you, a oh. day or two ahead of you, depending oh. on that the area. Nice. So it's not and that's and a lot of research. <laughs> yeah, in a little bit of time. Okay. So interesting. I mean, mm. that's not enough information for you to zero in on like where it came from or how it's happening or what's going on. Yeah. But if if the article can be taken as solid fact, then it's probably safe to assume that the compound was introduced into drug into the drug trafficking market that and then those drugs made it to certain cities before they made it to Calgary. Okay. That's yeah. I mean that's that all that sense. means. It's not necessarily okay. because they're further east and the sun rises over there. Let's just be clear about that. That's probably it, though. That's not yeah. it, right? Are it's, we sure? They've had um, another day. I mean, like, time. I don't it's know. Make a perception check. It's the um, I have one more question. Yep. So there were those articles written about Calgary that were like, hey, everything's good. Everything's good, right? Those, or was it just like, did that happen? I'm trying to remember. Did that happen? I don't think that happened. That was all so. just about, are you talking about last episode? I'm talking about, like, the time... Like we like back. googled and I was like, "What are the sources?" And it was like major news outlets that oh. it said like things are going great. Um, I might be. Crazy. I don't I remember, remember that actually. No worries. Yeah. Okay. Gosh, I hope I'm not wrong. I hate being <laughs> I, wrong. But I I, 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 I might just be. I, I think because it was there was it might have just been about the East Coast. 
I think, yeah. I, I, remember I think you're getting confused about the East Coast, East Coast. East Coast. No for sure. I just wasn't sure if it was like there was a Calgary specific one. There wasn't anything Calgary specific that said like things have died down here yet. Okay. Oh no. Pa- pause. Yeah. No. There was. There was one that said that um, in the <coughs> South that like there there had been a reduced number of like. Yeah. Okay. You're I'll, right. I want to find did that article again, and I wanted to see like who the author of it was. Okay. Um, it takes a minute to like search through to, yeah. but I mean, you pull up your history and like go right. Um, so it was a CBC article. Um, so Canadian Broadcasting Corporation. It's yeah. not necessarily government controlled, but government funded. For our abundance of American listeners, that's what that stands for. <laughs> what about them across the pond? Yeah, that's oh, right. yeah, the British. I want to find out. Um... Oh, and the Japanese. Oh, the other way. The other Zambia. pond. The other Zambia. Pond. Second Zambia. pond. Zambia. They love the English podcasts. <laughs> Um, I just want to see, like, That's is this a Calgary-based author? Like, oh. the specific author. Okay, so the specific author is based in Toronto. Toronto. Okay, yeah. cool. His so. username is Zombie Lover. No. 69. Wait. Oh. But cross-referencing so that with a lot of what you've been seeing, like, on the television especially, um, most of the journalists that are, like, actively remaining part of, like, journalizing mm-hmm. um, are not... Journalizing? Are not yeah. necessarily it's operating big, in their own city. There's today. been a lot of movement around, so whatever that means. Okay. Yeah. Rumors. Hmm. Cool. How's my water? Oh man, you've got so much water. Great. <laughs> so <laughs> those bags hold can hold about 20 gallons before you can feel the integrity of the bags start to get weak. Nice. They're not water bed bags, right? But yeah. they are like heavy duty plastic bags. Yeah. So you can hold 20 gallons before you're like, well. Anymore, and they might like tie it up, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Okay, so you get about twenty gallons per bag. Um, Sweet. It takes you like most of the rest of like the evening to get like six bags, Um, which is a lot of water. Which is a lot of water. So that's a lot. I mean, you're running these out of like two kitchen sinks, basically. Yeah, 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 probably. I don't think I would even trust their like. They probably have. There's a washer. Oh, there is like a pressure washer hooked up close to one of the exits. Um, anyway, but that's fine. I'm not going to get drink from that. I don't know where that's coming from, so okay. I'll just drink from it. Yeah. So you're right. sort of wrapping that up for the evening? Yeah, if it's getting late, then I'm ready. I'm going to try and find a place. Um, I would suggest probably sleeping up by where the security thing is, and then, you know, we can wake up every once in a while and take a peek at it. So maybe up at the top. Okay. In the room with the window, so we can overlook the bay. Yeah. Okay. Would these cameras have motion sensors? Um, so the cameras themselves are always on. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of... Security, um, security measures that have like motion sensors like have that set up as like a way yeah. to either detect someone in the area mm-hmm. or to activate a camera mm-hmm. so because these ones are always on then they don't have like motion lots sensors of them, lots of them yeah. have like an auto record like if something moves it starts recording it yeah. and then you can look back at files and I'm just wondering if they have like I don't for know the people watching it. the security feed it would be like change that one kind of thing but no, no, no. Okay. it's all like oh, yeah, it's, nice. it's a little bit outdated. It's all manual. Yeah. Um, uh, so you guys head up there? Is could, that, yeah, I think. Yeah. Is there a way I could try and program something on that? I know you can get if you were just to be able to like. So the equipment lacks the sensors that you're looking for. So it's right. not a lack. Here's of what I'm program. thinking. Yeah, go ahead. So there's there's a uh, programs you can download. It'll essentially just take. A frame and compare it to another frame. Yeah, and then generate an idea of movement based on exactly yeah, the based on the analysis. difference. So you say like if the frame is twenty five percent different from the previous frame. So technically, how do you know these things? Yeah. Well, he studies. Yeah, this is what I mean. I guess, I guess that's, that's literally his biz. Yeah. That's not right. Yeah. Uh, so just do yeah, that like every your, minute. What's that's your so skill? Right. Uh, computer programming is uh, seventy nine. That's so hard. okay. Yeah. All right. You're as good so, as driving a computer as I as driving, driving a car. computer. Yeah. So here's the thing. This is a, like a pretty complex thing that you're attempting. Um, it's gonna take. This is gonna. This is like a two hour block of time okay, that we're rolling yeah, for. Yeah, that's probably reasonable. And in order to succeed, um, the uh, the attempt. Yeah. Um, and like another attempt would be another two block, yeah. two hour block. In order to succeed the attempt, you you need to make three out of four rolls. Oh yeah. So okay. you have four attempts on that yeah, on that skill. It. Three out of four. Well, he's, got he's got it. It's nothing. Uh, he failed the first one. Ninety-one. Ninety-one. <laughs> Don't fail again. Fifty-four. 54. Yeah, that's yeah. one success, one fail. Oh, Ninety-nine. 99. <laughs> Ryan Young, the king of the ninety-nines. I'm gonna buy you a jersey with ninety-nine. Oh my god. <laughs> 
89. 89. Oh, I thought it was 99 again. <laughs> I was like, he did it again. Just hey, guys, like last time. We definitely blew the If you want to roll, years. just like me. Don't. You know don't. Just, just don't. It's if you want to roll like him, change your, your mind. It's your voice. That's no, it happened was. before, too. But he rolled 299. I can't cook. Roll, though. That was epic. Okay. okay. So you did not do it. You, you did not do it. You, you maybe made some leeway. Um, you probably will have to make you know what fewer it probably was? rolls your next attempt. I downloaded a really crappy API and I had to restart. Apps. It doesn't mean I hate when I download crappy APIs. APIs. That's probably what it was. <laughs> stands for um, Auto Protocol Interface. So close. Wow, actually. Really close. It? Yeah. it stands uh, for Alien <laughs> Puppy Interactions. Injection. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, anyway. So, uh, alien Puppy close. Interactions. So you sort of wrap that yeah. up um, <laughs> about a, uh, I mean, a little while after. It's late. So John, at this point, John's like ready for bed, and you're still like. John's in his jammies already. Keyboard, right? I'm gonna take a shower. I'm gonna take a shower in the. <laughs> in your bag, you just like slip. No, in the bed. showers. <laughs> in the bed. <laughs> showers here. Okay, yeah. The human bath. Take a little shower. Shower. Shower myself. I'm gonna talk to Ryan. Hey Ryan, what did you find in that feed? Does it? Are things clearing up? Uh, Shane comes to distract you from your programming. That's why he. That's why. Give me. This like... is still like resolving. Right. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. Hey. After this stupid thing. Also, my. Arm hurts. <laughs> hey, I Thanks, it. Shane. <laughs> Carpal tunnel. That's right. Um, no, seriously, Ryan, are things going to get better? Uh, are things going to get better? I mean, what is, <laughs> what does your computer say? Your phone? Your my your RSS yeah, so, feed. I don't even know what that stands for. Evie is right there behind you. Um, Just continue. But she's there. Louis? She's taking an interest in what you're doing because the drone thing worked out so well. Now you guys are buds. Oh, she's the best. Check, Plus five friendship. <laughs> um, Plus five friendship. And you know what? I was probably like that's talking rule. about that's code to her as well, being like, "Well, he was a minus five earlier. This so is a loop, and this is a blah blah blah." blah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So you definitely see like some intelligence in her eyes that she understands part of what you're seeing. Her attention span, however, oh. cannot keep up oh, with the amount of information no. that you're bombarding right. her with, and so she definitely is like tuning in and out of what's oh. happening. And even like, if you, even if you're tuning in after a while, you're just like, "This is so uh, awful." The... Soon you hear snoring to beside you. Good. Which Put her right to sleep. Awesome. Um, Shane, I will let you know as soon as I'm done doing this. I just want to get away so we don't have to wake up and check on this. Okay, good. Nice. Yeah. So you're going to go, you're going to do it again? No. Oh, I just, that's it. I have to gotcha. spend two hours essentially. So, so you know, at the end of the two hours, I'll be like, hey, guys, blah, 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 oh, blah, blah, you, blah, 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 blah. Then you tell us everything you learned yeah. that we already heard. Brandon, do you, Ryan, do you want to say everything that he just said? I, it was a good like 15 minutes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, guys. That's great audio. <laughs> and cap. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So now we know. So, uh, John, you wrap up your shower. You're fully nude. Yep. Oh I yeah. I stay that way. <laughs> just kidding. I'm not. There's a 15 year old girl in the party. I'm so actually in everything. Please don't. Gonna... I'm gonna have jeans on and jean cutoffs. Perfect. Jean cutoffs. Just kidding. No, I'll slip You'll on. I'll know. slip into some other. You know. I guess something I'll slip into something a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> just because I say slip Classic into, John. it doesn't mean it has to be something more comfortable. I slipped into my old clothes. Into something better, less very comfortable. uncomfortable. Yeah. You mean the only clothes you have currently? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Standard yeah. clothes. FedEx uniforms. Okay. Although yeah. there are some FedEx uniforms here. Oh <laughs> heck yeah! I slip into true. a FedEx. We all be dressed uniform. in oversized, oddly shaped <laughs> FedEx uniforms that no one wants. Over oversized. <laughs> the biggest ones they have. One with the sleeve gone. That's like, like how late is it at this point? Um, so, okay, so now it's like 11 o'clock. Okay, yeah. It's like that. nighttime, it's dark outside. Um, okay, well, let's say I just showered, so I'm going to take, I'll take first watch, maybe I'll just keep an eye up on the on the security feed just in case. I don't know if we really need to, but. Also watch Chris. Yeah, there. what's Chris doing? Is he, uh, uh, oh, as far as okay. he's downstairs. So. I'll go over to him and just well, be like. Okay. The break room has a camera in it, right? Yep. Yeah, we can yeah. just watch there it. Go. Go. That's a good point. And good. we're spying on Chris now. <laughs> hey, you know what? Uh, he's not in the break room. Uh, oh, a quick scan things. through the channels indicates that he's uh, <laughs> found uh, some that. soft f uh, office furniture in the office. Smart. And, uh, it looks like he probably stayed there last night too, and he's like pushed together all these uh, like crappy office couches. Mega to couch. Make, the mega couch. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I forgot we picked up sleeping bags. We should give him one. Maybe. No, we don't. We can give him the crappy one. Okay. Let's cut it in half though. So it's super mm. uncomfortable for him. Childs. <laughs> Chris slips into something a little bit less comfortable. <laughs> a lot of it less comfortable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we can give him that too. Um, if we want. Yeah, why not? I mean, we should. We're not should. savages. We what get, are we? Yeah, we're still. We people. picked them up for him. He's the enemy. But we give it to him anyway. Yeah, He's he slightly. The worst. I'm a little bit worried about him. Not gonna lie. Yeah, me too. Is Evie? Hold on. Can we wait till Evie's she's asleep? A, she's about half asleep on like let's, curled up on Let's the wait ground. until she is asleep. She doesn't look particularly comfortable. But she's we, we give her sleeping bag. Yeah, yeah, we can. We, we, we're in her sleeping bag. Oh, well, let's see. Let's and Evie gets the nice one. Um, yeah. 
Is there anything we... else we can grab to make her yeah, sleep? Yeah, what can we do? Make a bed out of maybe the loaves a... of bread. I was thinking... <laughs> the maybe there's a pillow in one of these boxes. So cush. I'm just trying to think what is around. But... Uniforms. Yeah. So like, a stack of them. We could take the cushions from the couch. In also, the break room. That cushion. Just... No, 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 he's in the other room. Um, open just... all of the FedEx boxes. It's yeah, legal. Yeah, it's let's illegal. cast away this. Let's do it. <laughs> You've done some things that are more like yeah. open. Um, mail. We could do that. I mean, I don't know what we'll find. There's not like so. If it, uh, Maybe let's do that tomorrow. <laughs> I feel like this is plenty Tell for me what you see all the time. <laughs> There's not much there. FedEx doesn't keep a lot of packages left. But if it shut down, wouldn't there be like a truck or two that was like half loaded? Just then, you hear barking from down in the bay. <gasps> oh my boy. And that's an excellent place to end this episode. Right. Like, oh, hey, you are the like worst, that? John. <laughs> yeah, what? what the? This is great. You got to look at the thing. You oh, my gosh. gosh. Okay, we don't have to say how bad I am every episode. People don't want to hear this every episode. I love you, episode. John. I just want to play all the time. Everyone knows that. We don't need everyone to know that. It's great. John's the best. It's good. I want a water break, so. Yeah. I could well, tell that Ryan yeah. was getting thirsty. It, so how, did, how could you tell? Was it his voice? Thirsty. Well, yeah. It's, <laughs> his coarse, <laughs> dry throat. That's... <laughs> Hey. Um, thanks everybody for listening to this episode. Um, this episode was brought to you by uh, nothing actually. Just us. Well, it. It. The Trondheim Viking by Paul Chen. Yeah, nope, we that is not. No, we did. We did mention it. To be fair, have... that is not a sponsor. We're not <laughs> sponsored by anyone. But actually, I mean, if we could be, we're Paul, sponsored by John right now. Paul, if you want to. John is driving this. Paul, I'm just saying. Trondheim also, Viking. Hey, hey, it's Mr. Chen. Shout Mr. Chen. out, Doctor Chen. Pal- um, pull it. Pull it. Palladium? Oh, Palladium games. Definite big shout out to Palladium wow. games. If you guys don't Let's play that out. Palladium books, get them all. Um, if you're not following them on Twitter, you should. Follow Palladium them. books. Um, they pull some sweet stuff. You and should buy everything they ever make, ever. Well, I mean, I, I can't really recommend everything they've ever everything. made. Everything. So I wouldn't do that. But Dead Rain is definitely super fun. I can, I can, I can recommend everything I've ever played. Of well, theirs. And Brandon has played a lot. He has, that's true. Of so, I haven't played everything. I played some things. So take that uh, recommend those recommendations. Um, Twenty things. You know, like it's you a would. functional system. We love That's it. all I ever wanted. And uh, be sure to email us if you have questions about this episode or any other episode. Email us at urbandecaypodcast@hotmail.com. Also follow us on Twitter, Urban Decay RPG. Uh, be sure to get all them tweets. If you, know? you like Tweet the new us. Ryan, please email <laughs> <really. laughs> Can that be a poll? If you prefer <laughs> this Do voice, you like Ryan, the new Ryan or the old Ryan. <laughs> When I when I upload this, I'll try and run a poll on Twitter. We'll see, <laughs> we'll see who they prefer. For me. Sure it's a team second Ryan. <laughs> I'm gonna be so offended when people are like, "Oh, definitely second Ryan." I'm like, "It's okay." There are there are operations for that to get your yeah, voice probably. modified. Anyway, thanks everyone know. for listening. <laughs> Catch you next time. Peace out.